Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, boys and girls! <laughs> how's, how's it going? <laughs> how's it going, everybody? <laughs> This team is special, everybody. This team is absolutely special. Welcome to the San Diego Padres post-game show. My name is Bourne A.K.I. The Zocar lights it into center. Padres win. A.K.I. Ah, you. I'm going to get a noise complaint. How is it going, everybody? The San Diego Padres team. Let's get some why not us's in the chat. Let's get a full-blown all of y'all. Let's get some why not us's in the chat. Welcome to the San Diego Padres. Milwaukee Brewers postgame show. And I have to admit, I'm most wanted. I said... I guarantee you, a Zocar won't do shit. Well, I'll tell you first on the Hogwatch when I eat my crow. I'm absolutely wrong. How's it going, everybody? My name is Borna A.K. Hog. Welcome to the San Diego Padres Milwaukee Brewers postgame show. The Padres are 28-14. and 14. They have double the wins to their losses. And they are just a special, special, and I mean a special team. Just a special team right now. Everyone bringing out the memes related to Hogster. Hog talking shit about Azokar. Azokar with this walk-off hit. And I know we need to get into the post-game recap. I know we need to get into everything. But everybody, Jose Azokar is a San Diego Padre. Azokar lines it into San yes! Padres win! Manny Machado from third! Jose! What? A game, everybody, as we're all settling into the post-game show. Where is everybody tuning in from? We have monumental amounts of information to discuss today. It was Nick Martinez versus Adrian Hauser. It was an absolute slugfest. The offense wasn't going today. But somehow, some way, this team continues to prove all of us wrong. Shout out Friars till we die for the brand new flag because these Friars were the fighting Friars tonight. Shout out for the new flag, everybody. Where is everybody tuning in from? Johan, welcome to the Hogwatch again, guys. If you are new, we are your number one source for everything San Diego Padres. Give you guys post-game live streams after every single San Diego Padres game. Turn on those post notifications. And last but not least, how's it going? Hog is the Hogwatch for saying Ozokar wasn't going to do anything. 100%. Let's get into this post-game recap, everybody, for my YouTube audience. What an absolutely unbelievable game for the San Diego Padres. They advanced to 28-14. and 14. And Friar fans, I'm going to Petco Park tomorrow. I'm going to get that Manny Machado bobblehead. Shout out Zach Taney, my guy. Nick Martinez, we want to give him crow today. We want to give him a lot of slack today. But five innings pitched, two earned runs, he did his job. Now, he wasn't efficient, 106 pitches to 69 strikes, but he got it done. Chula Vista, Easter Island. What's up, everybody? Oh, Hog is amped tonight. Settle in. Enjoy. This is going to be a hell of a live stream. Sit back, relax. If you're over 21, crack open a cold one. If you're under 21, sip on those lemonades. Listen to the Hogster. It's going to be a hell of a show tonight. We're going to hear from Padre skipper Bob Melvin. We're going to hear from the hero of the night, Jose Azokar. And while this team doesn't hit for power, they have timely hitting. And man, I thought it was going to be a long barn burner tonight after ha Kim broke his bat and wasn't able to extend and end this game subsequently everybody welcome to the live stream show san yasrito imperial valley las vegas national city wherever you are however you may be listening smash the like button and then let's lock in here have a great freaking stream huh the fight and friars of san diego it's gonna be rocking i'm going tomorrow let me know in the discord if you are rocking tomorrow mods if you may please put the link to the discord so we can let everybody know it i'm sweating i'm excited everybody Adrian Hauser went six, one earned run, four strikeouts, only allowed the one earned run. Nick Martinez only allowed the two runs. It got it going early when Tyron Taylor, man, literally got it going early, double to right center. It scored McCutcheon, and that scored McCutcheon and Renfro. We saw the former Padre Hunter Renfro go out with the hamstring injury, and just like that, it was two to zero. When that moment, guys, I want to ask you, 
And one before I get into this, one more round, everybody. Can we get some why not us's? Why not us? Why not us? Nevertheless, everybody, it seemed like one of those games. It just seemed like one of those games where, you know, the offense wasn't going, right? Why does this Padre team just play so well on the road, but they don't like to hit the ball at, you know, pitcher-friendly Petco Park? It was a big question. We have to talk about that top of the 10th inning. So much to discuss today. Nevertheless, everybody, the Padres were able to chip runs here or there. They got a ground out from Jorge Alfaro. It scored Luke Voigt. It advanced Christian to third. And another big moment of this game. While Trent Grisham, everybody, has not been a good hitter at all this year, Trent Grisham has done squeezes to perfection this year. Moment. Perfection. Looks like he's going away right here. the bottom here. of the seventh until this. Grisham with his safety squeeze down the first baseline. And this game is tied. Talk about work an absolutely perfect. Talk about an absolutely perfect safety squeeze from Trent Grisham, everybody. An unbelievable, unbelievable safety squeeze. He is probably the best position player in baseball when you have all the marbles on the line, when you have all the chips at the front of the table, the big time safety squeeze. Now, everybody, smash the like button. We got over 320 of y'all in here. This is a big stream, and this is going to be a journey we all go on together, everybody. This team is special. I mean special. They have so many flaws offensively, yet they're finding ways to win a lot of baseball games, and I mean a lot of baseball games. Luis says, Crone Zone, I'll be there, man. First round is on me. I will see you there tomorrow, everybody. I'll be sitting in the Toyota Terrace. If you want to come say hi, let's do it. Let's link up because, oh, baby, it's going to be great. Blake Snell, Corbin Burns. I couldn't miss the Manny Machado bobblehead night, everybody. Go ahead and join the Padres Discord. I'll put the link on top of the chat. Nevertheless, Grisham with the big-time safety squeeze. And I mean the big-time safety squeeze. Next thing you know, it's 2-2. Two to two. Manny Machado had had a lot of chances today. And I mean Manny Machado. We'll get into the top hogs, hog washes of the night. We're just giving you guys that quick game recap. But here's the thing, everybody. We're going to get into the top hogs, hog washes of the night. Manny Machado had a lot of chances to end this game tonight. I believe I'm 201. Had a lot of chances to end this game tonight. Wasn't able to. Wasn't able to. We go to extras. He had a chance in the ninth. He had a chance in the seventh. Bases loaded. Runners on first and third. Two outs. Couldn't get it done. We go to the tenth, everybody. We start shaking. Luis Garcia comes in. He has no command. He has no control. And what continues to happen, again, if you are new, everybody, I want to let y'all know, we are giving away a Nabil Krizmat jersey if we hit 4,000 subscribers by June 10th. So what are you doing? And subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram as well at The Hogwatch. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at The Hogwatch. We'll let you guys know about giveaways and everything. So go ahead and shoot me a follow there as well. Thank you so much for the donation. The Invisited Be Cloak with the $10 holla says, these are not your father Padres. These are the greedy, gutty Padres. It's a great point in your big $10 holla. I appreciate it. I'm going to get into all donations right at the end of this post-game recap. We go to the 10th, everybody. We go to the 10th. It's awful. Garcia's in. He can't throw a strike. Luis Urias, former San Diego Padre, gets a single. The bases are loaded. The bases are loaded, everybody. I'll say it again. The bases are loaded. Nobody's out. I'm, all, I'm going to prepare for a depressed stream. It's going to be a short stream. I don't want to be here right now. And somehow, someway... This Padre team continues on their magical twist with the one, two, three double play. Guys, this was unfreaking believable. Luis Garcia, Andrew McCutcheon, one, two. Bases loaded. No McCutcheon grounds it back to Garcia to the plate for one, to the first for two. Huge double. It's magical. Luis Garcia didn't have his best stuff. The splitter wasn't splitting, the sinker wasn't biting, but he got a nubbler. And it went right to him, and he got the one, two, three double play. He got Rowdy Tellez to ground out. And again, you guys saw it once, but the rest was absolutely history. The Zoka lights it into center. Padres win. Manny Machado from third. The Padres, I think they've won seven of their last nine. They're 28 and 14. And without further ado, everybody, it's time for the top hog and hog washes of the night. We ready for this, everybody? Welcome to the post-game live stream show. I'm born AK Hog. 
This is brought to you by BetOnline.ag, your number one source for all betting needs. Here we go with the tally board. I had to give the hogwash to Manny Machado today. He had a lot of chances to come big time in big time situations in this game. Unfortunately for Manny, it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen for Manny Machado today. Again, if you're new to the stream, here's a graphic that we've been showing all year long. You have the top hog in the left column. You have the hogwash in the right column and the aggregate score in the aggregate score on the, you know, on the furthest right. Again, everybody, like this stream, help Hog out on the YouTube algorithm. Let's get this Padres train moving. Manny Machado had 11 top hogs, and I completely messed it up. I completely messed up the score. He should now have 12 top hogs and two hog washes. I don't know why I'm already fumbling the bag with the score, but Machado has 12 top hogs and two hog washes. It brings his aggregate score to 10. He's my hog wash of the night. And obviously, and obviously, the top hogs. We'll get into the hog pens. And we have a huge $50 holla from Kenneth. Holy cow, says another dub. I love this team. This eight Tatis injury might be a blessing in disguise. The team bonding together. Let's get some W's for Kenneth, man. Let's get some Y, not us's for Kenneth as well. Kenneth, the crazy dono, man. The absolute crazy madness of a dono. Really quick, everybody. Jose Ozokar. Your top hog of the night, no doubt about it. Manny Machado, your hog wash of the night. And last but not least, everybody, the hog pen of the award. The hog pen. It goes to every single member of this Padres bullpen. Every single member of this Padres bullpen. That's a quick one for my YouTube audience. Padres, Brewers, May 23rd postgame recap highlights. It's a big one, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Smash the like button. Subscribe for my YouTube audience. Let's get to 40.